is 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 of course Ridley Scott because um, oh. he's always trying to make a Gladiator three. I just there's not much there's not a hell of a lot to this story, bar the fact that they're looking to make a, a Gladiator three, which I just think, what on earth are you actually doing? So let's just take a look at the quote. Ridley Scott is reviving his Gladiator franchise. It's not a franchise. After 24 years with the upcoming Gladiator 2, and it sounds like that may not be the end of the road for his epic story. Speaking to France's premier magazine, the Oscar-nominated filmmaker confirmed he's already developing the idea for a third Gladiator. Oh, yay, wow. I'm already toying with the idea of Gladiator 3. No, seriously, I've lit the fuse. The ending of Gladiator 2 is reminiscent of The Godfather with Michael Corleone finding himself with a job he didn't want and wondering, now, Father, what do I do? So the next film will be at, will be about a man who doesn't want to be where he is. Excellent. So you've just revealed the ending of the film. <laughs> and you're telling us you're setting it up for a sequel. Please, please no. How about no? And FYI, the second trailer that they released, it's great. It's a really good trailer. And I watched it, but I still don't care. And the reason why, and I use this example in my trailer video for it, right? And it's a great example. You sit down at a restaurant, right? It's world-renowned steak restaurant, right? They, they, they give you like bone marrow on toast with sun-dried tomato, like all this really, really beautiful food, like Michelin star food. It's the best meal you've ever had. It's absolutely delicious, right? It's, it's great. And then an hour after that, another chef comes up to you and an, just, you know, just, just comes up to you and says, I know that was the, the best meal you've ever had, but I'm going to make another one for you. The same meal with, with equally good ingredients. You're going to go, I know that might be good, but I don't care. It's not going to top the best meal I've just had. So that's the perfect example. The trailer shows an absolutely brilliant, like it's epic. There's lots going on. There's big battle scenes. There's great acting. It's, it's all there. The ingredients are all there. But who cares? Because Gladiator was so good. You don't need a follow up. Right? Just like a great meal. You don't need a follow up when you've had the best meal. You don't need something to try to match it. I know we to me that example makes perfect sense, I think. I love that example. And a, a third one? No, go away. Go go home. You're drunk. Probably probably is, to be fair, really, Scott. Um I can see you 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 you're getting very grumpy there, culture. Do you want to rant? Over to you. This is stupid. <laughs> I, 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 when I read this article and I did, recorded a video on it, which is going to release tonight, I was so angry. I, 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 I it took everything within me to record a calm video about how stupid <laughs> this is. I was like, okay. I mean, I, I, I played it straight, but I'm not going to do it here. This is a bad idea. First of all, he's making three of the same movie. Sorry. Spoiler alert. Not only do I give you the spoiler alert, he straight up gave you the spoiler. I've noticed that recently, especially with Variety, Variety and uh, Hollywood Reporter and anything owned by Penske Media, they spoil the shit out of movies. You mm. Don't read them because they will lead you into what the end of the film is. You know, they are they blew up the Joker too, but it, technically it's blowing itself up at the end. Anyway, so, spoiler by the way, um, but honestly, this is one of those situations where it's like, you had a great first movie. You already said it. There's no reason to remake it. Um, the, 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 the film ended perfectly. It is a one-off story. Trying to tell a secondary story, story with the nephew of Commodus, right? The bad guy from the previous film, the, is the, dumb. This is the son. Lucius. Of Maximus. Oh, really? Because I my, my They revealed it in the trailer. Oh, okay. I thought it was Lucius. The, 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 what was it? The nephew of Commodus? No, they revert. This is. Okay. All right. Well, even this worse then. Done. Even worse then. Yeah, they revert it in the trailer. Bloody ridiculous. Even worse then. 
I, all, I know, all I, all I know is this. In the chat. Yeah. All I know is this. This there was no need for this. There that look, you already told the greatest story that you could have out of this particular era. Trying to extend it. Denzel Washington is the same character as the other guy that was dealing in gladiators. Everything yeah, no, about just, this is beat for beat the same film. Go ahead. Just to confirm, Gladiator 2 trail does reveal that Lucius is the son of Russell Crowe's Maximus. There right. you go. Well, then I, I, for whatever reason, I got the impression he was the nephew of Commodus. So, uh, that's because of who his wife, who his mother is, isn't it? I can't answer that question. But I do know, I do know that making a third one of these after this guy wins in the end, after beating Pedro Pascal, which will be the greatest moment in cinematic history, is the only part of this movie I'm interested in seeing is watching Pedro Pascal get eliminated by this guy. Um, you know, then we would be, you know, headed off to a third film featuring this guy who doesn't want to be in the in in the in the job of ruler. Yeah. So. Uh... Lucius is the son of Lucilla and Maximus, who... Wait a minute, wasn't he killed? Maximus? No, Maximus's whole family was eliminated at the farm. Yeah, but th this is the son of Lucilla and Maximus. Connie Nielsen's character. Oh, okay, all right, fair enough. Okay. Right. <laughs> Man, I know, it's all over the place. Yeah. I know. Yeah, but it's, regardless... It's just, it's just a joke. Re regardless, a joke. this... The first trailer was remarkably clear to me that this wouldn't be good. You have a higher opinion of the second trailer. Uh, there are elements of it that I think will look great. Sometimes, I mean, Scott is capable of delivering great cinema, cinema, cinematography. Oh, it'll look great. Moments. It'll look brilliant. Yeah, yeah. But it'll we, be we, in. Oh. It'll be in focus. You know, yay. Uh, you know, but I just you only had one story to tell. Now are you going to tell it three times? Oh, thank you. Uh, didn't we just complain about this with Cameron? Yeah. Yeah, it's literally, yeah. I mean, the fact, yeah, I don't know. He's doing some, like, Spartacus shit with this, isn't he, really? He's going to have all yeah. these gladiators take well, over Rome and set them free and all the bollocks. Absolutely what's nonsense. funny is, is in one of these stories, they talk about blood and sand. Hey. And, you know, these are sand and sandals, right? But in one of the yeah, stories, yeah. they talk about blood and sand. It's a reference to that in that HBO show. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's just nonsense. Oh, this is crap. Who cares? This is going to be such a big bomb as well. Like it's. I think this the the budget uh, is. I think it was like over three hundred uh, two hundred odd million dollars or something like that. No, it was um, the it's like three hundred plus million dollars. Yeah. Is it like three hundred and I thought it was three hundred and twenty. It was uh, expensive. Three hundred and twenty million dollars. Three hundred and ten million dollars yeah. three hundred and ten million dollars the budget is. Three hundred and ten yeah. million dollars for this. Yeah, it's gonna bomb. Yeah. He's not making a third one. And well, and I mean, and consider this this is like Paramount's biggie of the year. Yeah. This this is going to do you know they're real close to getting that fifteen percent of layoffs done? Ah. You, can you imagine how many more layoffs they'll have to do after this thing? Yeah, they could have just laid off one person and it would have been fine. <laughs> Ridley Scott, just be like, "Nay, mate, we're not making we're not making your film." <laughs> Fuck off. Sorry, sorry, Ridley. <laughs> sorry, Ridley. It's either you <laughs> or uh, a thousand people. I think we're going to settle on you. Oh. <laughs> uh. I know I hate this. I think it's rubbish. Somebody's Absolutely doing an rubbish. airplane. That's... Somebody's doing an airplane joke in the chat. That's well done. Uh, do you like Probably. gladiator you got movies? Have to say on this? It's gonna suck rocks. I'm still gonna go see it because that's my gig. I see there a movie, go. so you don't have to. There you go. Moving on.